we go. Yay. Yay. One last quick audio check. All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, I guess it's good evening. Depends on where in the world you are today. But uh, today is just a fun, simple uh, shop with me type stream because it's one of the most wonderful times of the year. And that is the start of the nitpicks uh, and we crochet and we crochet a uh, big sale. And so that is what I will be chatting about today as I make sure that I have things set up so I can see everything. Hello, hello everyone. So before we get started, I do want to share, and this is something you probably all know, but I am a nitpicks and we crochet affiliate marketer, which means that I have links and I do earn commissions for referring sales. However, I am a very long time nitpicks customer and have really enjoyed shopping the big sale as just a regular customer long before I had that relationship with them. And so all of the purchases that I make for the big sale are purchases that I make with my own money. I'm not receiving free product that isn't uh, available with a coupon code for all of you as well. Uh, and yeah, and so if you are interested in shopping, my affiliate links are pinned in the chat and are down in the video description. So uh, that is the disclosures there. And I guess one time I did receive a nitpicks subscription box for free because I wrote and asked if I could have one to review it. But otherwise, all of the lots of money I spent at nitpicks has all come out of my own pocket. <laughs> Uh, you ordered yarn two days earlier. Oh no! This year they didn't give us a big heads up of when the big sale was going to start. I think we got an email the night before and then maybe like one or two days before where sometimes we've had notice like a week or so before. So it really, really depends. Now, if you are a new Nitpicks fan, Nitpicks customer, or if you haven't tried them before, the big sale takes place in November before Thanksgiving in the US. And it is the biggest markdowns that they have for the whole year. Uh, as you can see here, they, you can save up to 60% on over a thousand different colorways of yarn. Um, they also have tools on sale. But what makes this really fun is that there's lots of deals throughout the sale that only last one day. And some of these deals can include special freebies or other kinds of fun stuff. And so sometimes they have new limited edition yarn lines, and some of those have been my favorite. Uh, anyone remember Full Circle? The sweater I made for Keith was out of that. I loved that like recycled wool single ply yarn they had some years ago. So the wholesale is a lot of fun. So today I'm gonna go through some of the deals and things that are currently up. I am gonna talk about my strategies for shopping the sale because with daily deals, it might mean that you want to place multiple orders. And so that's something to consider. And yeah, and then I guess I'll share some of my like picks for what I think some of the biggest deals are. Now with Nitpicks coupon codes, uh, most of them are limited to one per order per customer. Um, but there are two websites. There's the Nitpicks website and the We Crochet website. And so if a coupon code is available on both, you usually can use it on both because they're separate accounts. But if you're trying to decide which site to shop at, they are extraordinarily similar. Uh, they share a warehouse, have a lot of the same inventory. But We Crochet is more crochet focused and then Knit Picks is more knitting focused. The biggest difference though is that in the US, you get free shipping on orders over $65 at Knit Picks but at We Crochet, you get free shipping on orders over $35. So in some cases, it can be a better deal to shop with We Crochet, uh, especially if it's an item available on both and you're gonna be placing a small order. So let me see. I'm even watching some of my videos and you're gonna try a dip down to break Wilton's Violet for the first time when it arrives. Oh, yay! Uh. <laughs> but, 
uh, I yeah, so I am very excited. And um, I've already placed two orders. <laughs> so let me share uh, some of the deals that are available. So throughout the whole big sale, wall supplies last, knit picks, and we crochet both have some free gifts with purchase. And so at knit picks, you can get a free tote bag with an $100 purchase. Uh, and the coupon code is here, uh, a free calendar with a $75 purchase, or a free ebook with a $50 purchase. And the coupon codes are on the website. All of the, the big sale and all of these coupon codes right here end on November 24th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. And that is the day before Thanksgiving. And we'll talk about Thanksgiving and Black Friday in a little bit, but that's usually separate from the big sale. So all of these coupon codes are things that stack with the markdowns that they have for yarn. The freebies for We Crochet are very similar. They also have tote bag, um, but you can get a free magazine with a $75 purchase, and then they potentially have, are the eBooks the same? Th they may have some different eBook selections, so it's worth checking. Now, I'm gonna show you one of the tote bag, a couple tote bags actually. Um, here are some of the options for Knit Picks free tote bags, and I have these two right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I have those two. And I have one in this style. And then, let's see, the, so the We Crochet has a different, uh, okay, and I have, I'm not sure if it's this color, but I have one of the We Crochet bags, but let me show you those. Oh, actually, this tote bag I have might be different from the others. So these sort of canvas tote bags have a tiny little pocket and a little snap closure and a long handle and are 100% cotton. And I use them as project bags a lot, often have them hanging on a uh, doorknob. These other project bags are like a faux leather. And this is one of the Knit Picks ones. But check out the fabric on the inside. It is so cute, so cute. And I use this a lot. There's no closure, but there is a deep side pocket on one side and it's really, really great. Uh, the one I got from We Crochet has a little bit more of a textured pattern on the outside and has crochet hooks on the inside. So, yeah, I got all of these on past big sales and I, these are some of my favorites. I actually already ordered one uh, from Knit Picks <laughs> already. Uh, oh, awesome. You're waiting for the gloves and dye to start dyeing yarn. Yay! Dyeing yarn is awesome. All right, let's see. Okay, so those are those are those freebies. And since I had some examples of those, I figured <laughs> I should just show you. Um, but there are some other deals. In fact, we have our first daily deal today, which is good on both Knit Picks and Weird Crochet. So today only, as we go back to it, using the code TOOLPACK21, you can get a free tool pack off of an order of $50 or more. And this is on either website, We Crochet or Knit Picks. And the tool pack seems pretty nice. It has like scissors, uh, some open stitch markers. Here we go. Um, the, the needle sizer, which I love these very much. Uh, some yarn needles. Oh, it looks like a row counter too. Uh, and a measuring tape. Lots of good stuff that's really useful. So that was my second order to get one of those. <laughs> uh, so those are, oh, and I'm not even done with the deals right now. Uh, okay, so there's also weekly deals. Uh, and on Knit Picks, you can, there's a code that you can get, uh, in, is that, yeah, that you can get $20 off of a palette mini box, which seem adorable. They have how many different colors? A thousand grams total, a bunch of different 20 gram balls of palette, which is amazing for color work. Uh, so that is super fun. And We Crochet has a special uh, save 20% off of High Desert yarn, which is the American grown uh, wool that they have with a coupon code, but that one's just for We Crochet. So those are all the coupon codes for now. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot, but the big sale is a lot of fun. And 
uh, I actually uh, track it on my website. <laughs> Uh, so I have tracked the big sale for the last, how many years? Three years, uh, keeping track of all the daily deals and other fun things like that. Um, so, oh, Helen Henry said that Nitpicks is giving away a pattern weekly also. Yes, I think that's part of the 12 weeks of gifting, which is separate from the big sale, but other, yes, you can also get some free patterns. Uh, and so, on my website, which I will pop into the chat, I have a lot of information, including, oh, that's not the window I wanted, uh, including uh, my, the, the coupon codes that we have, uh, the, the daily deals and weekly deals that are going on. I'm tracking all of those for this year, so that way uh, next year we can look back and see what kind of offers there were. I have my predictions and hopes, which I'll go through in a moment. Uh, I talk about my shopping strategy, some of my best picks for yarn, and uh, talk a little bit about Black Friday. So we'll talk more about this, but what are my predictions? What things am I hoping to see? Uh, oh, the Wolf's Den said, I'm really nervous to try wool yarn for the first time. You normally use acrylic or cotton. You're just hoping that it's soft. Um, I didn't see which wool you purchased sometimes it can be not quite as soft as some cottons but other wools can be softer than cotton so yeah oh and thank you thank you all right so usually and i again have been shopping the big sale since i don't remember if my son was a year old for the first one or if he was, if it's gone even longer than that, I, I don't remember if it's so, if it's been quite a decade, but it's been a while. And one of the best days is a uh, dollar skein day, where usually they will have uh, one, three, and five dollar skeins of yarn, which in the past have included some like, not misprint, but some colors, maybe some prototypes of chroma that they didn't end up selling. And so it was all these unique colorways, like one of a kind things that they sold and they went like within five minutes. It was really cool. Now there are limits on how much you can purchase of each of the different dollar deals, but sometimes you can get some bare yarn at a really, really good price. Uh, so hopefully we'll see one of those. I am hoping for some new limited edition yarn. There hasn't been any that I've seen yet. So if I've gone, um, if I go and look at new, yeah, I guess if I sort by newest yarn line, High Desert is the newest thing. So sometimes, and last year they had a lot of like limited edition uh, bare yarn that was when it's gone, it's gone. And some of them were really, really fantastic and I loved. So that was really fun. Uh, Wool of the Andes Sport. So Wool of the Andes is a little bit, I call it a workhorse yarn. It is, I, I wear it for hats and stuff. It's not necessarily the softest wool in the world, but it's definitely nowhere near the scratchiest either. It's sort of, I would say in the middle. It's very similar to Cascade 2020. Uh, so I'm hoping, again, I'm hoping for some new limited edition yarn. Uh, I always hope for a free enamel pin offer. I collect those and a couple of maybe I've purchased over the years, but most of them I get from big sale purchases. Uh, sometimes there'll be free yarn with purchase and big discounts on tools. Like I think one year, if you bought a like Swift, you got free blocking mats or something like that. There were sometimes some really, really big specials like that uh and so it is just it's all really fun but let me see nope that's not where i wanted to go okay let's let me talk now about my strategy when it comes to shopping the big sale so i buy a lot of bear yarn and in fact uh there is a bear yarn okay they've like made it take a few more clicks here we go. <laughs> you can buy bare yarn in 20 packs and get 15% off the 20 pack of yarn. And so this is often what I buy where I buy the bare yarn in bags that I use for a lot of my videos. I use Knit Picks yarn. Uh, and so because 
of this. And because if you uh, apply, say, if there is going to be a coupon code for Black Friday, say say there's a 20% off coupon code, which I don't know for sure, but historically there usually is a site-wide coupon code on Black Friday. Uh, I did the math over here. Okay. If there's a 15% off discount and then you get another 20% off discount on top of that, it is a 32% discount on the full price of the bare yarn. And so because of that, if it is a yarn that I tend to buy in bulk, I will buy it from the big sale if it is over 30% off. If it's a yarn I only want a couple of, then I'll pay more attention to the 10 and 10, 15, 20% off yarn. But if it's something I want a lot of, I look for 30% off, 40% off or higher to be like, this is a really good deal. I'm going to stock up during the big sale versus waiting for a coupon code that may or may not show up at Thanksgiving. And so with the big sale ending before Thanksgiving, I think it's reasonable to think that we might have coupons. I think last year we had 25% off site-wide for Black Friday and then 20% off site-wide for the rest of Cyber Weekend. But I don't remember for sure. So, and there's no promise that'll happen again, but it's reasonable to expect some kind of deal on Black Friday. So that is part of my strategy in considering what I buy. So when you go and look at the sale yarn and uh, there are some differences between knit picks and we crochet that are minor, but for a lot of the yarn, it is the same. I will go and I'll look at say the 50 to 60% off category. And then I sort by title. And okay, I feel like this has gotten a lot shorter already. It's possible that they run, I think they may have run out of some things already. Um, there was one item that was on sale yesterday that isn't on sale anymore, so I don't know for sure. But if you sort from A to Z, and maybe we'll tr this will be easier in this category now, I will then go to the B's and we can see what bare yarn is on sale. And so uh, these that are in the 40% off and higher category tend to be the ones that are the picks that I say, these are the best deals. So one of the best deals for, in my opinion this year, oh, there we go, is these bare Hawthorne sock blanks. These are usually $20 each. They are $10 right now in this sale. And actually, I need to add some more to my cart, which brings me to my second strategy. I keep track and I make a list of everything that I want to purchase, but I don't buy it at once so I can take advantage of daily deals. Um, ah, a good question. Uh, what wool yarn type would I recommend for socks? So Hawthorne, the, not necessarily the sock blanks, but the bare Hawthorne is a really nice high twist sock yarn. And then Stroll is another yarn that, sock yarn that I dye a lot personally, uh, which I don't, th I think it might be out of stock. Still, hopefully it'll come back in stock soon because I need more of it. <gasps> it's back in stock. Ooh, ooh, okay, and it's only like 10% off, but if you only want a couple skeins, it's still like, it's still a good deal. It's fine. Um, so bear stroll fingering is one that I use a lot, but I don't really knit socks because I don't really wear socks. So <laughs> there is that. Uh, but yeah, I start by bear wool. So Hawthorne is a really good deal. And then I would say of some of these other bear yarns that are in, that are really heavily discount, heavily discounted. The Aristo is a wool cashmere silk lace weight yarn. It is really heavily discounted. It's usually one of the one of the most expensive bear yarns. Same with Luminance, which is just 100% mulberry silk. This one I think is the most expensive bear yarn. Uh, and so those two are really good discounts. Um, Shimmer Lace is a lovely lace weight yarn to work with. I don't think I've dyed it uh, but I have, I definitely have knit with it before. I think I knit with it in black too. Um, just making sure if there's some in my cart. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to need to go and buy Stroll um, soon. 
Uh, so those are some others. Um, Big O is a yarn that I really, really like. It's a nice bulky weight yarn. It is two ply. It's 50% superwash merino, 50% nylon. It's another like good pick. Outside of that, I look for things. Ooh, Precios are tonal, tonal. I look for things that are pastel. So like this ballet pink. Uh, some, I am actually editing a video dyeing a stroll gradient. Uh, it was the duos, which don't exist anymore. But there are, the Mighty Stitch is acrylic wool. That's a little harder to over dye. Uh, but you can see things that are pastel or medium tones, like this Wool of the Indies Superwash, that you could over dye. And so that is very much an option as you are shopping. And so a lot of times I might peek also in the higher percent off, I think. I don't remember. I think there's a cotton that I wanted that seemed to be heavily discounted. Oh, maybe this memento cotton. I don't think I've ever tried it before. And so I was very intrigued uh, by this. And since it's so pastel, I don't remember if I have any of this in my collection. Uh, but I, I have some of this in my cart uh, because it just seems cool and it would be fun to over dye. Is it possible to dye acrylic yarn? It is, you just need to make sure you have the right type of dye. So I have used a, um, a Rit Dye More Synthetic to dye acrylic yarn with varied results. I have some videos on the channel about that. So uh, that can be fun. And let me see, so yeah, my, as I mentioned, I've already placed two orders. And you can see that my shopping cart Oh, this is one of the gradients I've over dyed. My shopping cart has a bunch of items in it. I usually keep it stocked with some items that I want to pick up that I haven't ordered yet with the sale. And then when a deal like the free tools today comes out with the free tools over $50 purchase, then I made my cart at nitpicks to have only $65 worth of stuff in it. And then I ordered the um, free tools. And so I took care of it. Uh, that I guess that's how I took care of it. Uh, and yeah, and so then, you know, I'll hang wait for another daily deal. And if there's something else that has a minimum order, if I want less of it, then I might order from We Crochet. Otherwise, I'll order from Nitpicks. And uh, I sort of plan on wanting to order multiple things to take advantage of freebies. Uh, but if we go to We Crochet, I, w I don't think I'd get a second tool pack. But in terms of the free gifts, I wanted to see what tote bags they have. What is this one? Oh, it's a kitty pile. Okay. So I love Sparkles the Unicorn. I have a small drawstring tote bag. I don't think I have the big one like that. So that one is tempting for me. Uh, I am a huge fan of the yarn cactus. <laughs> huge fan. I have a, I have a, a pin in this. Uh, and I believe, yeah, I would probably go for one of those as my freebie. I, which tote bag did I get from Nitpicks? I think I got a metallic one. I think I picked the champagne one um, rather than the, like the silver sparkle interests me a bit. I think I have this texture on like a crochet hook case. And I do like the, the nitpicks ones a little bit better. So I got this champagne one and it has the, the pattern on the inside. So yeah, I might get one of the cotton ones <laughs> from Ricochet at some point. And so by the end, like if there's still more I want to order, then I'll use like one of those, uh, one of those freebies that I have, but because you can only use one coupon code per purchase, uh, the, this makes you, this makes me want to spread it out a little bit. And especially because you don't know in advance what deals are coming, which day, uh, that can make it a little harder to plan, but I thought it could be fun to, uh, let's go see some of the daily deals that they had last year. So last year, I think they called it deal of the day. And so they shared sort of which date the specials would be coming out, which was super handy, uh, super handy for someone that tracks. <laughs> oh, well, I'm happy to answer questions. And so one day they had $1 patterns, 
One was uh, save 20% off yarn value packs. Uh, and so it did not work on bulk 20 packs of yarn, but there were some other like value packs of like luxury bear yarn and things, excuse me, like that, that it worked. Uh, on Then they had the one three five dollar deals. I think that there were books in addition to yarn on the sites. Then they had a, um, a knitting needle and crochet hook sale and then a discount on ball winders and swifts. And I got a brand new swift last year. So last year there weren't as many daily deals, um, but in I think 2019 there were a lot, like every couple days. Yeah, I think there were more in 2019. Uh, and there they had, so they also had the dollar digital patterns and the one, three, five dollar deal percent off needles. Um, but then, you know, there was a skein, free skein of stroll tweed tonal, uh, free try it needle set with $50 purchase, uh, free yarn bowl with $150 purchase. So lots of things like that, that come in handy throughout the year. So I guess those are the types of things that we may expect. I really hope that they give us a heads up when the daily deals are coming, because I think this year, so what year is this, 2018 maybe? I think in 2018, I just was refreshing every day. Uh, was there a limited edition yarn day? Freebie frenzy, tool swag and bundles where you could get a free item with purchase of others. There was a lot of that. Uh, sale and kits, a free shipping deal, uh, dollar deals day. Yeah, so I wonder if there's going to be any special reserve yarn this year. Maybe not, because maybe that wasn't launched on a day. So I would love there to be some uh, special reserve yarn. That's what they call the limited edition stuff. So that would be uh, great. Um, okay, Helen asks, have you seen the sweater 10 packs? They seem to have disappeared. So I think that the sweater 10 packs tend to be a special that they leave and keep for a while uh, but we can go check um, okay so I don't see that there I think we crochet had a still had so they have a 10 pack special of Brava yarn so I don't think that the sweater 10 packs tend to be a permanent offering uh, but sometimes they last a whole season and so I it's possible that they'll come up with come out with a fall winter one again I don't really know um okay so how much water vinegar should I start with when I start to dip dye to break Wilton's violet I usually start with eight cups of water uh one tablespoon of white vinegar and then I use half of a teaspoon of Wilton's violet icing color per 100 grams of yarn and then usually by the end I need to add more acid to get the rest of the blues to strike so there is that but yeah I guess like that is most of it Ooh, ooh, other strategy stuff so in addition to yarn there's lots of tools and notions on sale as well and so another strategy is if you're really close to uh, your order minimum or you're really really close to the minimum for a coupon code sort from price from low to high and then you can find maybe some things maybe you want need some buttons maybe you need uh some new stitch markers I think if these are the flexible stitch markers I really like those uh I grabbed some safety eyes so that is like not just with nitpicks but that's just a reasonable strategy especially if it's something you might find yourself using so I usually have my wish list filled with things that I want that can help me get to minimums so it's I don't know it's a lot of fun and I didn't go through all of the bear yarn oh uh so they have 10 gram mini skein um I am not on the right page <laughs> they have 10 gram mini skeins samples of a lot of their most popular bear yarn lines and some of them are these are on sale as well they're usually a dollar 50 for 10 grams but it's now a dollar 20 or a dollar 35 
um, for the ones on sale. And so that can be a nice way to get a sample of some bear yarn before you buy a 20 pack of it to see how you like it or to test dyeing with it. I don't recommend these if you need to have, if you want like 10 gram mini skeins to dye a mini skein fade set, just because they are pretty expensive. And I think the intent is more for them to be like a sample for you to look at and compare. But I am happy to answer questions about more yarn lines because I've tried most of them. Uh, <laughs> very much most, I've, I've tried a lot of them. Uh, but um, a lot of the other like yarn, a lot of other yarn is on sale. I did notice, and I know I'm not the only one that notices that they raised the price of some of their yarn recently. So I think Wool of the Andes, the price went up and Swish for sure. Uh, and so Wool of the Andes, uh, Worsted used to be $4.99 for 100 grams. And well, this is the bulky one, but it's now $5.99 for 100 grams. And Swish, nope, I don't want the mini or that. Okay, so Swish DK, wait, did they change it back? Yeah, so it's on sale. Swish DK used to be $8.99 full price. It is now $9.99 and $8.99 on sale. Um, oh, that is not a problem. Uh, and so that's unfortunate, but at least it's on sale now. Uh, and so, yeah, I guess like, as I said, there's some things that I wait and usually Black Friday is when I place the largest dollar amount order that I place during the big sale because I'll order a bunch of 20 packs. Because as I mentioned, historically we might get a 20 or even 25% off site-wide coupon. And those tend to stack with prices, coupons tend to stack with prices as marked, even if things are marked down. There's a chance they could change that, but it then is a great time to sort of stock up. But the thing I always have to balance is that there's always a concern that the yarn I need will be out of stock and then I won't be able to buy it then and then I waited and I can't get more. So uh, I will probably buy some 20 packs of Swish DK and Stroll this um, during the big sale, uh, usually to take advantage of other like coupon codes and stuff, but also because I need some more and I don't want to risk not being able to get it because I go through a lot every year. So <laughs> I hope that that is helpful and yeah, that the strategy, that my strategy for the, uh, for the big sale is helpful to hear. And plus, I mean, this is also like, hey, the big sale is here. It's a great time to go and get sale yarn. And I know I'm focusing mostly on bear yarn for dyeing, but of course there's a lot of stunning yarn that isn't bear yarn that you can take advantage of as well. And I really like that you can, I wish there was a bear option that you could touch here, but um, you can even just go and look directly at the roving. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, and so you can go see, ooh, I like that color a lot actually. So you can go and see the roving that's on sale and uh, I feel like that this is more expensive too. $6.99. That I feel like is a lot more expensive. I feel like like Will of the Andes roving used to be, how much is the bear roving? That's $6.99. Okay, so the bear roving is still $5.99, fine. Um, so there's that. Uh, you're waiting for some Rit Dye More to dye some acrylic you have. Awesome. Uh, you got a bunch of gloss fingering minis for $113 to make a fade set. The pricing on it was comparable to buying a single skein. Yeah, so I think that with the minis, uh, if I can, will I be able to backtrack to it? Ooh, what was this? Oh, huh, here we go. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, new yarn lines. There we go. They'll be here. Uh, there are definitely some of these mini skein lines that are 
cost effective to get the minis. And of those, I think some of them that are the most expensive would be the Andean Treasure, the Gloss, and potentially the Capretta, I think are some of the most expensive bases in that set. Um, and so therefore those are the ones that I would, uh, those, are the, those are the ones that I would recommend getting um, if you wanted to dye mini skeins versus making them your, making your own. And so that is a reasonable point on that, Sherry. So, yeah, but otherwise, like, I wish that they would offer mini skeins, like, in packs of 25 or something, but each one of these has an individual yarn label on it, which means that I'm like, okay, they really are intended as samples. And I think that, well, it would be nice if they actually even just had a pack of all, what are there, 13? Uh, five, no, 11. It would be cool if they had a pack of all 11 that you could just buy as a bundle being like bare yarn sampler. So nitpicks, here's an idea. Oh, okay, so story time. Uh, when it came to the free tool set, uh, they actually had that in an email. Uh, and I couldn't find the information on the website. And so this is some of the coupon codes. You need to add the item to your cart and then you use the, the, the code and it becomes free. This one, you just add the code and it'll automatically add the item to your cart. But I couldn't figure out how to use the code and it wasn't on the website. So I called and had a long chat with customer service <laughs> and told them like, I don't see the deal on the website, but I got an email about it. And this wasn't even like an affiliate email or anything. This was like a, an email to, hey, this is this deal today. And so um, shortly after the phone call, it was on the website. And so the rep I talked to said he was like writing right then, writing to marketing to like be like, is this supposed to be out today? <laughs> and so I was like, oh, maybe I helped. And so that was really fun. That was really, really fun. <laughs> But yes, I have been known to call and ask questions. And once things come in, I'm not going to do unbox everything separately, but uh, I actually will probably be doing tomorrow night a Paradise Fibers and Knit Crate unboxing. Uh, but otherwise, like, you know, I might save some of the Knit Crate thing or Knit Crate, Knit Picks things to unbox as they come in. But uh, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to pop on and sort of share my shopping strategy and yeah you can see some of the things that i have in my cart right now which unfortunately doesn't show what i've ordered i think on we crochet i just have see high desert okay maybe you guys can help me with this high desert is an american grown wool yarn line and they have a sort of like off-white version I really want to feel it and see how it is. And one of the sales on We Crochet is an extra 20% off High Desert Yarn for the next couple of days. When does this end? That doesn't say there. I wrote it down. The High Desert, it ends on the 13th. And so I thought that I could grab some of the High Desert and dye it. But it is expensive, even not on sale. So nineteen dollars for a hundred grams is not is expensive for a bare wool yarn. But it's not expensive for like small. I I haven't looked up um, about the farm, but for uh, you know grown and spun in America, actually maybe isn't that expensive. And so I'm curious what it feels like because this is one of the yarn lines I've never tried. So is anyone interested in me trying it? Because if so, then maybe I'll order some. <laughs> you had a similar situation with an email offer that wasn't on the site yet? Yeah, well, I couldn't figure out how to use it because with the free tote bag, um, to get that, I had to, um, there you go and you add the tote bag you want to your cart and then you check out. Um, and then apply the coupon code and it subtracts the like $16 or something that the tote bag costs. So I wasn't sure, like I initially added the like tool, free tools to my cart, but then I was like, I see it applied, but I didn't show any money off. But once I got to the comfort, like 
the review your order, I saw like free toolkit like listed there. So uh, there's that. Oh, it's my pleasure to give advice. That's sort of what I'm here for. And you know, why I do this as like a, a live stream and PSA, like the big sale is here, the big sale is here. <laughs> it's just, I think, really, really fun. So I think that I might pick up some of the high desert. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure, like, except for when something is like only available on We Crochet or there's an order I need to place that's under the $65. I don't really know why I purchase stuff at We Crochet versus Knit Picks. Like what makes me make that decision? Unless of course, like I place an order at each so I can take advantage of the daily deal or whatever they call it this year on each site. So, um, but otherwise I think because like I have most of my order history on nitpicks. That's why I continue to go there. And I'm going to do a test because there have been some times recently where I have ordered 20 packs of yarn and they've come not in the plastic bags. And I think that that correlates to orders from We Crochet. So I might place a We Crochet order just so that way I can investigate this to see if that happens again. Um, I also have already ordered some bare yarn through Knit Picks as well. So we will be able to compare and see. Uh, so yeah, I think that, uh, that, is, that is definitely something I'm curious about. Um, does my name show up anywhere when you follow my link? No, no, it's just, uh, and I will just pop it in the chat. No, it doesn't. And like, don't worry about it. Don't stress about it too much. Like if you've clicked on my link, then like they know that I referred it and uh, it's nothing to like, I, I wouldn't stress about it. Uh, it's, you know, it's sort of like if you're going to be shopping because you're like, ooh, Rebecca has made me very interested, then it's like a win-win. But uh, yeah, I don't want anyone to feel like you obviously do not have to use my links. None of these deals are linked or coupon codes are linked to me personally. Uh, they're all things that are available to everyone. It's just, uh, I was trying to figure it out at one point and I wonder what my oldest reference, actually, I think, yeah, never mind. So my first order from Knit Picks, this is like one of, oh dear one of my first vlog posts ever. Oh, this is my first post on my website ever. And I just sort of went through a bunch of things that I had made. Um, but this is either the first or second yarn I ever ordered from Knit Picks. It was Shine Sport. Uh, and then I did get some other wool, 100% wool yarn from them, but this might have been this pattern, because I wanted the yarn used in the pattern, this pattern might have been, Sheldon the Turtle might have been the pattern that caused me to find knit picks. So I have been shopping with them for way longer than I've been an affiliate. Uh, more than a decade. This was 2008. So <laughs> there is that. Uh, over the summer, you received bare yarn 20 packs and bags from both We Crochet and Knit Picks. Okay, good. Ooh, dyes are on sale. I'll go back to the website. It's like you perked my interest. Oh, so this is not a bad deal necessarily. Oh, funny, my Aztec gold is not that orange. Um, $3.99 isn't a really bad deal, uh, especially when you consider free shipping, but let's go uh, okay, but oh, I guess that's better than I thought. Maybe the prices went up, but they're $3.45 
for Jakarta Acid Dyes at Dharma Trading Company. And I think there was a discount when I ordered one of every color. But I don't see that. Because at once, uh, one point, Dyer Supplier asked me to order one of every color of Jacquard Acid Dyes um, uh, for myself to do the dive into dyeing. So that was extremely, well, I mean, it was a business arrangement. But it was nice that they had me order all of the colors and play with all of the colors instead of just the ones we talked about for the kit. Uh, so where is the, here are the, here are the dyes here. So yeah, $3.99 with the ability to get free shipping is not a bad deal at all. Um, so that's actually a pretty decent deal. I like Jacquard way more than I like Greener Shades, which this kit is on sale as well. The Greener Shades is fine. It's not my favorite. Ooh, and there's a kit that is sold out. So never mind. <laughs> oh dear. All right, well, it's good to hear that you got um, Bear 20 packs in uh, both in bags from both websites. Because when I got my Swish Mountain that was from We Crochet, and then I called customer service being like, there's not a bag. And they're like, oh, well, we don't do plastic bags anymore. But I think that there may have been a miscommunication. And the rep I was talking to was t thinking back to the time where Nitpicks used to ship their orders inside large plastic trash bags to keep everything clean um, inside the box. And honestly, that maybe would still be a good idea sometimes. And so they stopped doing that, which is fine. Um, but when yarn comes from the mill, do I have a 20 pack anywhere nearby? Or a partial one? No. The mill needs to have some way to keep track and inventory the yarn that they're sending out. So they package the 10 balls of yarn in a plastic bag. And so I'm like, why are they taking the yarn out of the bag to then send? So that was odd. <laughs> that was very, very odd. Uh, but um, I know that uh, this is not a necessarily the most convenient time for, of the day for a stream for everyone. So if you are watching this on the replay and there are any bare yarn lines that you want to see me play with, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to pull some of those for the uh, November Chemnitz Dialogue to use some yarn lines that I haven't used or actually because some of my picks, maybe I definitely have, even though I'm buying some more. Big sale, so many clicks. Nope, I want A to Z. Oh yeah, there's some um, Simply Erin that's like a natural colored wool in various colors, that's for sale and the twist. So that could be a good deal. Where is the bear stuff? So maybe I should do one where I'm focusing on silk and finally dye Aristo, uh, something where I want to dye, um, where's Luminance? I don't know. It's somewhere on here on sale. But so maybe I should pick some of those that were my top picks for the next Chemnitz dye along. But Anyway, so that's something that is worth letting me know if you would want to see. And yeah, thank you all so much for joining and for shopping with me. I, <laughs> I really enjoy the big sale, if you can't tell. And when I was on the phone with customer service, I was like, so I track the sale every year. And, um, and he was like, you're not the only one, so don't worry. And they think that it's fun. They like that people get so into it. And so, uh, <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this as well. I need to be better about going through some of the random skeins that I pick up in some of these sales. But uh, yeah, I like, ooh, I like cotton boucle. That's one I like, but that one might not be quite as on sale. It basically, it all comes down to, um, if you think that like what kind of price you think you'll get. And unfortunately, I don't think I said this before, but uh, these sale prices don't stack with the bulk discount. Um, so for gloss, which is currently 
I don't know what percent off. So it's 20% off right now. Uh, if I were to go and buy a 20 pack of gloss today, it would only be 15% off the regular price. So uh, if I wanted to buy 20 skeins of, sorry, there's some landscapers outside across the street. Um, if I wanted to buy some gloss, uh, if I wanted 20 skeins, it would be better to get 20 individual of this sale price. So that would give you a better deal. So it's just worth checking and seeing which gives you a better deal um, back and forth on the site as you are shopping. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think that that just about covers everything I wanted to share. So uh, yeah, I'm going to peek in my project bags and see what I have in all of them. I use them a lot, actually. They're really sturdy and I um, one of them I think I even brought to the beach this summer. I just, I really, really like them. Um, and so it's fun to have something that's a freebie that you get a lot of use out of versus just being clutter. So anyway, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz. Uh, my links, my affiliate links are down in the video description. Also the website where I'm tr keeping track of the deals for this year is that post is down in the video description as well. And so I hope that this was helpful and that you're excited to take advantage of some nice deals. So thank you all so much for watching. And oh, there was a new episode of Dye Pot Weekly out this morning. Um, so you can go and watch that if you haven't watched that already. I used, I was speckling with a salt shaker. And I hope to have the live stream recap from last week's Leave No Dye Behind Live. I hope to have that up tomorrow. I have to actually film the conclusions for it, which I am going to go do now. So thank you for watching, everyone. Bye.